Why do you want to be happy? I mean, what's wrong with living life just in your comfort zone? You know, fine. Okay. Oh, um. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Beerman. I'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What's a metaphysical ministry? Well, you see, religion and spirituality, they're two very different things. You can be very religious, follow all the tenets of religion, pay attention to all the rules, and ask yourself who made the rules, or you can connect from your spirit to the spirit of the all that is, to the higher power, whatever name you want to call it. And those are two very, very different things. You can be very spiritual and not believe in religion at all. And you can be very, very religious and have pretty close to zero spirituality going on. In the real metaphysical world, there's so much that's available that you cannot see or experience using only your five senses. That 99% plus that composes the total reality, you're never going to see it living in the world of your five senses. And that's the metaphysics of quantum physics, the explanation of how you create your reality and how the world actually works and enriches your experience of living. We begin every week with a happy share Something leaves you feeling happy. It's not something that happened for your kids, or your spouse, or your partner, or even your best friend left something left you feeling happy. And my happy share is, I am launching my book that's the story of the brain injuries, how they turned my life upside down, inside out, and what I did and continue to do to make my life great. Because my book is all about thrive. Don't just survive. And I'll be launching that. Formally, the big party on my birthday this year, May 2nd. That's a Friday, and I will be singing the song I wrote that helps me get through the really tough times, like brain injuries, that leave me having to create a new way of being in the world. So what is it? Why does somebody want to be happy when they're just going along with their life, when they're doing work that lets them make a living, that supports them in having the house they want, or probably the car they drive, and maybe even lots of things. Well, there's something weird about people who need lots of things to stay happy, always having to go outside in themselves, because those things are meant to distract them from the fact they don't know who they really are. And therefore, they're not their own best friend to keep themselves company. They could be things like all the electronic gadgets out there. Some of them make life easier. All of them impact your health and your wellness because of all the electromagnetic fields happening. And even if you don't use them, they're in the air and in our environment. And then take a look at people and the size. Look at the poor health. Look at how many people suffer with Alzheimer's and dementia. It's the food. There's no such thing as a healthy whole grain. What healthy whole grains do is make a whole lot of money for the big food companies, for the big farm companies that make them, and the big marketing companies that lie to you. Right? What's the point of losing your health if you can't enjoy life without health? And what do those foods do? What do those not healthy whole grains do? They go right up into your brain, into the opiate receptors. Not only do they let you feel comfort, there's a reason they're called comfort foods. They also make you hungry so you want to eat more and eat more and get more and more of that comfort, get more and more of that opiate effect. So, when you're happy, you don't need to look outside yourself to be entertained. You don't need to look outside yourself to enjoy every moment of every day. 
And you don't need to wait for an event to put a smile on your face. You see, happiness is a lifestyle. It's not an event. It's not something that you do, and then you're happy. It's not the goal of all these action steps. Happiness is a starting point. Recognize who you are, which means knowing who you are, and start from there. And when you're loving yourself, because you know yourself and love yourself, everything in the world looks amazing. So even when you're going through really hard times, and even when you're hurting physically, or emotionally, or spiritually, or mentally, when you're happy, you get through it. And you know that everything, everything happens perfectly. And anything that's thrown at you, it comes with a solution and an opportunity for you to grow through it. So when you're happy, you're raising your vibration and you're living in a higher vibration and you can only attract to you things that vibrate in harmony with your own frequency. See why you want to be happy first? Everything you want vibrates at a higher frequency. Now if you're on our ministry site and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold the Space For. What is it in your life that's not there now that you'd like to have for part of your reality? Just go on down below and let us know. And what we'll all do is come back. You come back too and tell your friends and family, read every name, and what the person wants on the list at least once a week. And then you turn the small thought form of you putting the request down into a bigger thought form. And it's things like, had people ask for a new car and got them, a new place to live, a new course that they want to take, they want to learn something, they don't know where it is, all these things coming to them, improved health. Because they asked for it and we held the space for them. Now if you've never been here before, go on over there and pick up your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. I'm so glad you came by today and I really, really appreciate your clicking like and share. Get the word out. Let people know we're here because there are a lot of people who feel lost and confused about their spirituality, how the world works, why they're here, how everything is happening. This is a place to ask your questions and get your answers. I wish you a week filled with many blessings centered around be happy first. You don't do or work at or take action to be happy. You simply be happy and everything happens.